Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that loves itself a good fixed blade. Today, we're going to take a look at a very special Architect 5.5 I put together for my good friend Jeff Palumbo, owner of SpinWizComics.com. Check him out if you guys are into reading comics. But other than that, let's try to sell you guys one of these sheaths I make. Okay, hopefully we sold you guys a few of these sheaths. Check this one out. This was made with love. So, actually you guys may notice that in my sheaths now there is a slight difference in the tips. Right here you almost seem like this imaginary line going across just ever so slightly. What that is, is I use uh, different thicknesses. Towards the tip I will use only one uh, layer of tape on the rest of the blade two or three. And so you may see that that gives you a nice uh, fitment at the tip. That's how she looks overall. Freaking nice with this carbon fiber he picked out. Look at that. Got my logo on there all nice. Anodized orange washers. Came out super cool. Hunter orange backing and carbon fiber, excuse me. Orange carbon fiber. So how we have this set up, Joffrey, is you just hit this button here and here comes your combat loop. And you can just kind of press her like so. And we have this set up so it can ride on his belt, just to the left of his belt buckle like this. So when he wants to draw, here we go. We push off of here and... Oh, 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 oh. Look at this son of a gun. You guys love this knife. I prefer the Architect 5.5 over the 6.5. Personally. You got these cool orange liners on the handles. Put some Loctite in there for him. Nice grip, same exact handle as the 6.5, and Jeff was smart, he actually opted for the CPM 3V Steel, which on the knife connection, once you build one of these guys, you're gonna be running about 220, somewhere in there. It's not cheap. And I know because I get these orders all the time, and they're from my 5.5 Architect video. They see that, they want the knife, and they get it. And Jeff, took my advice and picked up this blade. It's got a high uh, saber grind, looks like, yep. High saber grind, three quarter length grind here, which is actually gonna be really nice for things like batoning wood and stuff. Your stock that you're starting out with looks like 3 16 The jimping is nice and rounded. Tops just does a great job with their finish, fitment. Their heat treat is awesome. CPM 3V steel, that's gonna be really nice out there. Rockwell of about 62, I'm assuming. I didn't look it up. But yeah, nice edge on it, nice factory edge. I'm gonna touch this up a little bit for my friend. But yeah, like I said, check out spinwizcomics.com if you're into comics. My friend Jeff and I have been dabbling in that field for some time, as you guys know, I'm an author. And um, I actually got my start in comics and that's how we met. Many years later, he watches my knife review video, picks up the knife, and sends her out for a custom beauty sheath. This one came out beautiful. Nice buttery edges, nice carbon fiber. And buddy, you're gonna stab the inside of here often. We all do it. I just kind of rock her in. I just kind of start it, you know, here, and then just give her a nice push. It's kind of like a, a tough retention, because I wanted you to have a nice solid retention. But there you go, there, there she is, there's the retention. There's the draw. There's the retention. I didn't want this coming out. Also, you can take out these spacers here and you have plenty of clearance for like maybe attaching to a backpack. You can also lock this like so. Now, now that's locked. So this could attach to a backpack. You can turn this around. The, the holes are drilled so you can be vertical or horizontal. And there you go. That's it. Just wanted to show off this beauty, guys. I mean, look at this Architect 5.5. Part of the Wham Bammer series, we recorded all these in the same day, because I had to move my shop, but wow, how nice. Jeff, I love you, buddy. We've been friends for a long time. He's a good man, and I hope you appreciate your sheath. It was a great build. Funny thing, I was talking to my friend Nico in the shop and um, actually forgot about the Kydex in the oven, and normally when that happens, you melted it. But in this case, I checked it, and it was just perfect by the time I noticed, so it was meant to be. I'm happy with the result. I hope you are too, bud. And we'll see you guys next time on 5-Minute Knives.